I didn't know what to expect. I went totally unprepared. Like I had like flip flops on and you know, nothing, just some water. We got up to the front and then they started bringing police in. We kind of moseyed up towards the justice center and as we were getting close, we started hearing explosions. It just started kind of escalating from that moment. I, I didn't really see anything tremendous violence or anyone trying to like, you know, we're taking over the Justice Center or anything like that. Pepper spray got brought out. I was one of the first people in the front of the line to take it. From there, I was terrified because I lost my group. There was nothing other than the tear gas to indicate anything. There was no bullhorn. There was no loudspeaker. There was no sirens. There were no anything. There was no dispersed crowd. And to be honest with you, there was nothing to cause the crowd to disperse. 90% of people were just standing there sort of just amazed that it was happening. I completely don't think any of it was warranted and it's different from seeing it in videos and hearing about it. When you experience it, it's completely, it's a whole different world. I am a photographer professionally and uh, I really hadn't taken that many pictures. For some reason it was on video instead of still camera mode and I held up my video camera and I saw a young man crossing the frame but I was looking at the background for the most part. Through the viewfinder I saw him crumple into a pile. But some guy who was next to me who I didn't know, we're like, he's not moving. We ran up and tried to uh, just scoop him up out of harm's way. He was not responsive and he was not, you know, like, are you okay, okay? And there was nothing happening so we grabbed him and took him across the street to a less chaotic spot. I left because I'm like, we need an ambulance. I started leaving and then I realized a little bit later that I actually had a video of John getting shot. I stepped back from John maybe six, 10 feet to record something. I even told him I was gonna do it. And then he stayed on the other side of the street where he eventually got shot in the eye. Hundreds of people that were in that area just started screaming and said, run. And this group of men that were by me as I was taking um, video spun me around and made me run with them, with the crowd. I heard somebody go scream something along the lines of, this dude got shot, this dude got shot. And all I could think was, please don't be John. I get over there to the crowd as they first pick him up off the ground and it was, lo and behold, it was John. People in this country that a lot of other countries don't have the ability to, if we see something that's wrong, we can say that there's something wrong and we shouldn't fear being prosecuted, we shouldn't fear being hurt, and we shouldn't fear being killed. And it's literally that simple. The officer that shot me treated me basically like I was target practice. If you just allow the person that's putting you down, basically your bullies to keep bullying you, they're never gonna stop. I felt like that was a great opportunity to go and try to, you know, make a stand and show that, you know, we're we're not just going to, you know, roll over and continue taking this type of abuse. Trust me, I've heard so many different people tell me that, you know, this is going to, you know, end up in my favor. It's going to be a great thing. Uh, nothing but good is going to come out of it. But, you know, I still lost my eye and that's something I'm never going to be able to get back. Waking up every day, I still expect to wake up with, you know, my full vision, and obviously I don't. I know no amount of money, support, anything can bring John's eye back. You know, at the end of the day, that's more precious than anything. But I just hope through this situation, he finds justice, and it's a victory not only for him, but for the people that are standing up against this every day, and the people that are going through this every day. I hope he finds peace of mind through getting justice. Was that who was with you? Yeah. I drove over to Metro to meet you when you went in. I'm a teacher. Oh, okay. He, I live right down the street, so I think he was looking to follow you, so I had my car close by, so I drove to meet you. That's what's up. Yeah. How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. Have you been there? Yeah, I mean, I'm taking one day at a time. Yeah. Very, very good. Well, stay strong. We're praying for you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Sure. Have a good one.